Good morning. I am Carmelo Carlostella, Professor of Hematology at Humanitas University in Milano, Italy. Uh, I have uh, recently presented this data at the last meeting uh, uh, in New Orleans. Uh, and these are the updated results uh, from a phase one dose escalation study using forintamig in patients with relapsed refractory multiple myeloma. And today, uh, on behalf of my uh, uh, co-authors, uh, I will share this data with uh, uh, the International Myeloma Foundation. Porintamig is a bispecific antibody uh, targeting CD3 and uh, a myeloma antigen, the GPRC5D. Porintamig has a peculiar molecular con configuration consisting of uh, a two-to-one uh, ratio uh, between uh, the two binding sites, uh, uh, high, high avidity binding sites to GPRC5D and uh, one binding site for, uh, to CD3 uh, T cells. Uh, these uh, uh, dual bind binding activities uh, 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 induce uh, T cell directed killing of uh, uh, plasma uh, cells. Uh, 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 and uh, with the, uh, the, the myeloma antigen consisting of the GPRC5D, this uh, antigen is expressed, highly expressed on malignant plasma cells, but also at lower level in normal plasma cells and immune cells, as well uh, as normal tissues uh, with a a restriction of expression to, to, to skin. Uh, the, the, uh, the, the data I will uh, present today uh, are an updated, uh, the updated results of the uh, uh, IV uh, uh, treated cohort and uh, the initial results of the subcat uh, cohort. These uh, two cohorts have been treated with for interim in the context of a phase one dose escalation and dose expansion study which is uh, aimed at evaluating uh, the safety and the clinical activity of forintamig in patients with relapsed refractory multiple myeloma. Uh, this slide uh, summarizes the study design. Patients enrolled uh, are relapsed refractory multiple myeloma patients who have been exposed to uh, IMID and PI uh, with no established therapy available and uh, who have eventually received the CAT cells, ADC, and bispecific antibodies. For Intamag, for Intamag is dosed every two weeks for a, a, a time uh, a fixed uh, period. Uh, and uh, as a CRS mitigation measures, we have used uh, cycle one step up dosing and cycle one corticosteroid premedication. The dose escalation codes and the dosing regimens are reported in the uh, right hand side of the slide. The primary objective of this study were uh, safety and portability uh, and identification of uh, MTD and uh, uh, recommended phase two uh, dose. Secondary objectives included the PK, PD, immunogenicity, and clinical um, activity. What about the patient's uh, characteristics? Uh, uh, 51 patients were enrolled in the IV arm and 57 in the subcap arm. Uh, 50, uh, approximately 50% 50 of the patients were high risk uh, cytogenetics uh, and you know, a high risk cytogenetic profile. Uh, and these patients were highly predicted in that they have received a, a median number of prior lines of therapy of five in the IV arm and four in the subcap arm. Uh, 60 to 70 percent of the patients were triple plus refractory, and uh, 35 to 40 percent of the patients were pentad drug refractory. 20 percent of the patients uh, had uh, received a prior anti BCMA. The adverse events of uh, uh, are detected in the in, the, uh, in these uh, uh, two codes are summarized here. Grade three four. Uh, uh, adverse events were observed in 69% of the patients in the IV arm and 74% of the patients in the subcap arm. Uh, five patients experienced uh, a grade five fatal uh, uh, AE uh, and uh, eight patients required a forintamig dose reduction and uh, again, eight patients required a uh, dose uh, forintamig dose discontinuation. In the right hand side of the slide uh, is uh, uh, shown uh, uh, a summary of the uh, common hematological and non hematological AEs by, uh, by grade. 
let's uh, go deep, uh, more deep into the cytokine release syndrome data. In the IVU arm, 82% uh, of the patients had the CRS. Uh, however, the uh, CRS was uh, grade one or two uh, in all the patients but one, uh, uh, with this uh, uh, one patient experiencing a grade three uh, CRS. Uh, for the subcut arm, 79% uh, uh, of the patients had a CRS. Again, uh, this was mostly grade one and two, and only one patient uh, uh, had a, a, a grade four uh, CRS. CRS was managed efficiently and fixed effectively with the corticosteroids and tocilizumab. Other adverse events included the CN, uh, CNS-AEs consistent with IGANS. Uh, overall, uh, 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 CNS-AEs uh, of any grade were reported in 10% of the patients in the IV arm and 12% of the patients in the subcat arm. However, only uh, uh, three patients and uh, grade three or more uh, adverse uh, mm -hmm. events in uh, both arms. Uh, skin and mucosal toxicity. Skin toxicity of uh, uh, any grade was detected in 78% of the patients in the IV arm and 86% of the patients in the subcat arm. Uh, uh, mucosal and hair and nail changes were uh, detected in a uh, 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 percentage of, uh, of patients that are shown in this uh, uh, right hand uh, table uh, in, this, uh, in this slide, and, uh, but they were uh, only grade one and grade two. Hematologic adverse events included anemia, tomocytopenia, and neutopenia, and their percentages uh, uh, were consistent with those reported for. Uh, other uh, 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 by specific uh, antibodies. Infection uh, were uh, of any grade were re reported in 71% of the patients in the IV arm and 46% in the patients in the subcat arm. The most uh, uh, prominent uh, uh, infection was represented by COVID-19. Uh, overall, uh, for incoming adverse events were consistent with the uh, antigen, uh, target class uh, antigen and the mechanism of action of this uh, class of drugs that are by specific antibodies characterized by a uh, high, uh, uh, highly relevant capacity of activating uh, T uh, cells. Uh, what about clinical efficacy? The overall response rate in the IV arm was 71.4%, with 59% of the patients experiencing a VGPR or higher. In the subcut arm, the overall response rate was 64%, with 53% of the patients experiencing a VGPR or higher. Interestingly, uh, uh, patients uh, uh, at the time of uh, uh, achieving CR, uh, 14 patients could be evaluated for minimal residual disease using a, a next generation sequencing based approach with a sensitivity of 10 to the minus 5. And 71% uh, of these patients uh, at the time of their first CR uh, resulted MRD negative, which is a very important uh, finding. The median follow up of uh, uh, the, the, the patients enrolled in both the IV and the subcat arm is short, less than one year. However, there are interesting signals of uh, durability of the response with 11 months of duration of response in the uh, uh, IV arm and 12 months of duration of response in the subcat arm. Patients uh, with ongoing response at the time of data cutoff. Uh, account for 66% in the IV arm and 70% in the subcat arm. 50% uh, uh, of the patients uh, who had received the anti BCMA uh, 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 molecules and a response in, when treated with for internet. Pharmacodynamic responses were extensively explored in forintamic uh, to support the mechanism of the, uh, the understanding of the mechanism of action. Uh, two phenomena are very important. First, T cell activation is detected, detected uh, uh, immediately after the first injection of forintamic, and this is supported by uh, an important CD8 positive T cell margination and a cytokine production. Both T cell margination and cytokine production uh, are evident in both cohorts, irrespective uh, of the uh, uh, route of administration. 
Pixel activation uh, is, uh, translates in a rapid uh, clearance of multiple myeloma cells in the bone marrow. And this is shown in, uh, shown in panel C, where you can see that 91% uh, 90, um, of the patients uh, had a decrease of bone marrow plasma cells uh, to less than 1% uh, at the end of cycle one. Uh, the end of cycle one means that at that time, the patient has received uh, only one target dose uh, uh, of the study drug. This uh, rapid decrease of multiple myeloma uh, uh, plasma cells was associated with uh, uh, um, uh, the achievement of an MRD negativity status in 30% uh, of uh, the patients. Uh, and in fact, 13 out of 44, uh, uh, of, out of 44 patients who could be studied for MRD negativity uh, 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 resulted uh, 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 MRD uh, uh, negative. This is another important uh, finding. So in conclusion, Olintamig is a bispecific antibody targeting CD3 T cells and the GPRC5D uh, antigen. Uh, uh, and this uh, uh, antibody is a novel to one uh, configuration. Uh, AEs are consistent with porintamid mechanism of action and uh, 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 the target antigen. Porintamid uh, is highly active in these patients as uh, supported by a high response rate and also tested doses uh, by the early evidence of durability for both IV and subcat heart by um, high percentages of patients that were at the end ongoing responses at the time of data cutoff, and by uh, an MRD negative, negative status achieved in, by 71% of the patients at the time they achieved the uh, CR. Biomarker data confirmed the for incoming mechanism of action, and uh, 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 prior is still uh, ongoing to evaluate and optimize the IV and subcat dosing. And finally, I want to acknowledge uh, all the study investigators, the study coordinator, uh, the nurses, the sponsor, and uh, last but not least, the patients and their families.